bureaucratique. Chers collègues chefs d'État, nos délibérations permettront assurément d'adopter l'armature juridique et institutionnelle permettant de donner corps et identité à la Confédération Alliance des États du Sahel. Le 16 septembre 2023, en signant la charte du Liptako Gourmand, nous avons collectivement pris la décision courageuse de créer l'Alliance des États du Sahel, AIS. Nous avons le même sang qui coule dans nos veines. Hello, greetings all of you. My dear and queens, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in the continent and to those who are in the diaspora, you're most welcome. Uh, ECOWAS is going to, uh, to confirm the withdrawal of Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso after several initiatives to try to bring back these countries. Uh, the heads of state and government of ECOWAS, the community, the economic community of West African states will meet on Sunday, December 15, uh, 2024, in Abuja, capital of Nigeria. The main uh, challenge of this uh, ordinary session before Christmas is to confirm the announced withdrawal of Mali, Burkina Faso, and the Niger from the sub regional uh, community organization. Uh, remember that. Held this year, January, these countries, Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso, announced the withdrawal from uh, the sub region of ECOWAS. The reason behind the withdrawal of Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso from ECOWAS was when uh, ECOWAS threatened to invite the Niger military and uh, put sanctions on these countries. Uh, for instance, you remember Nigeria cut electricity uh, supply to Niger and also. Um, some restrictions of travel to some um, government officials of those countries. So since then, uh, these countries came together and say we are going to unite, we are going to come together and finally they formed their own alliance, the Alliance of Sahel States. Uh, the aim is to fight uh, French colonialism and French exploitation. So, um, they claimed that ECOWAS is serving the interest of uh, France and also America, not the interest of the people of West Africa. And of course, you can agree. Uh, just imagine Nigeria cut uh, electricity supply to Niger, and you know that at that time Niger has no capacity to have enough electricity. Uh, the electricity has been used for. Uh, supplying energy in hostels, so it means people lose their lives or lost their lives at that time. So since then, these countries said we will not go back to ECOWAS, uh, the organization that is not for the interest of our people. So uh, ECOWAS tried many, 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 many ways, means to see how these countries can come back to the organization, but. Uh, finally, it looks like these countries, they have totally decided to withdraw. Uh, of course, we have seen uh, ECOWAS leaders sent uh, Abdelmaye Faye of Senegal to meet with these leaders to see how they can change their mind to return to the uh, organization of ECOWAS. But all in all, um, these countries have said enough is enough. We are no longer... Uh, be the members of uh, ECOWAS. We are going to have our own alliance, the Alliance of Side States. That will be uh, the state that will fight the French imperialism and colonialism. So even activists and uh, some uh, people of goodwill seen that uh, these are just revolutions in Mali, Niger and Burkina Faso, not military coup. Remember um, former ambassador of African Union to the United States of America, Dr. Kana Chumbul Kwao, 
visited Burkina Faso and praised Captain Ibrahim Chawale for um, those revolutions. Uh, a man such as Professor Pierre Mumba, of course, also uh, stand with uh, Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso against France because for many years France has been exploiting those countries that we call Francophone countries. So uh, the withdrawal of Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso is to fight against the exploitation of France. But uh, France are still using some heads of state of ECOWAS to try to convince these countries to remain under exploitation of France imperialism. But all in all, um, these countries are not going back to ECOWAS. And finally, ECOWAS is going to announce uh, with the draw of Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso. So uh, let us wait and see uh, how uh, ECOWAS will say the coming Sunday meeting. And of course, we will share with you some updates from that meeting. But all in all, um, we must find the total liberation of our continent. Uh, of course, ECOWAS has been lamented by many people that ECOWAS is serving the interest of Western power. So ECOWAS need to reform uh, itself because many countries are not happy with uh, what is going on in ECOWAS. And one thing that just an update for, to you that uh, Nanada Kufo is going out, who looks like uh, one of the leaders that are being used by uh, France and the US. Uh, of course, he's going home and his uh, party has lost elections. So, so you can see uh, what is going on. So soon we see a total liberation of um, of African countries, especially in the western part of our mother continent, Africa, where many Francophone countries are being uh, exploited by France. So with those few updates, uh, my dear kings and queens, let me say uh, thank you, have a nice time. Those are just an update from West Africa. So, if you have anything new, please share with us on the comment section. Also, help us to share the video to many Africans as you can so that all of us we can have a clear picture on what is going on in our mother continent, Africa. So, kings and queens, we are here always to share our thoughts, to find best solutions for our challenges, and to solve some challenges that are here in our mother continent, Africa. So, with those words, let me say bye. See you next time.